Hello guys and welcome to this introductory video. Today we'll give you a glimpse of the new powerful legendary weapon, Star Shatter Ultimate Legendary Weapon. Introducing Star Shatter, also known as Broken Star, making its debut in Battle Teams NA this month. This new legendary machine gun is the most powerful weapon in the game's new version, surpassing previous legends by 1000x. In this video we'll explain how to get it, how much it costs, and how it works. Star Shatter Overview Star Glory provides a magnificent look with exclusive kill icons, battle entering messages, effects, and display. Star Transformation Star Transform In all modes, press E to switch between gun and blade forms. This weapon is immune to the overload effect of Dimensional Star. After evolving to Inheritance, in Mutant and Challenge modes, Star Shatter charges with each damage dealt. At 100% charge, press E to switch form and activate Power Surge. Power Surge in Adventure mode requires energy to activate, restores HP to full, and grants invincibility for a short period. Star Defense. In all mutant modes, when equipped in your backpack, transforming into a mutant triggers a sword wave at the attacker's position each time you take damage. Multiple sword waves within the damage range generate an additional black hole, pulling nearby enemies. Star Spirit greatly increases damage to mutants and monsters in mutation mode. Significantly speeds up weapon switching and reloading. Base weapon damage plus one. Starfall in mutation, challenge, and adventure modes, shooting in gun form has no recoil and targets multiple enemies. There's a chance of causing an explosion that creates a black hole, pulling enemies towards the center, excluding BH Heroes mode. This effect enhances after upgrading. Right-click in gun form to release secondary star slash. Killing enemies during cooldown reduces the remaining time. In power surge state in gun form, press E to release starfall towards your crosshair, causing continuous damage, pulling enemies, and increasing damage from all weapons in your backpack. During enhanced gun form, you gain movement speed, fire rate bonuses, increased explosion damage, and a more powerful secondary star slash with a shorter cooldown. Star Slash in Mutant BH Hero Challenge and Adventure modes, press left button to release Sword Aura and right button to dash, causing damage. Killing enemies during dash cooldown reduces cooldown time. In Mutation mode, dashing grants immunity to infection once and creates a secondary starfall. In Blade Form's Power Surge state, press E to release a powerful Star Slash towards your crosshair, inflicting high damage and leaving a giant sword that blocks enemies. During Power Surge, Blade Form grants movement and attack speed bonuses, increased sword damage, and enhanced secondary starfall. Legendary Linkage Boost. Adventure Mode. Hitting a target applies damage deepening, increasing damage taken. Affects all rifles in inventory. Two Legendary Weapons. Base damage increased by one, shorter right-click skill cooldown, additional charges in Mutant and Challenge modes, reduced energy consumption in Adventure Mode. Three Legendary Weapons Temporary Invincibility if Power Surge isn't activated, Increased Power Surge Duration, and Boosted Damage in Gun Sword Form. Damage can also be boosted by having Siren V2 in your warehouse and by using runes. As you can see, Star Shatter is an incredible addition to Battle Team's NA, offering unmatched power and versatility. Obtaining Star Shatter, Step 1, play the Star Factory event. To get the base version of Broken Star, participate in the Star Factory event, found in Hot Events. Let's break down the event and estimate the cost. 302 Star Core energy needed. Each 10 energy requires 400 gold recharge. 302 energy equals 12,080 gold recharge. Legend Metal Conversion. Every 10 Star Core energy plus 500 gold equals 500 Legend Medals. 302 energy equals 15,100 gold to convert into 15,100 Legend Medals. Materials needed. 15,100 Legend Medals, 180 Essence. Drawing process. Draw 1, 666 Legend Medals, 30 Essence.
Draw two, thousand legend medals, thirty essence. Draw three, one T eight hundred legend medals, thirty essence. Twenty-eight hundred legend medals, thirty essence. Draw five, four thousand legend medals, thirty essence. Draw six, forty-eight hundred legend medals, thirty essence. Total, fifteen thousand sixty-six legend medals, one hundred and eighty artifact essence. You might obtain the Star Shatter Origin earlier, so it's up to you if you want to complete the whole box or just get the base version with one evolution. Here we are showing the opening box process. All rewards from the factory will go to the gift box in the warehouse, and you have to manually open them. This includes Deer Dragoon, Star Shatter Version 0, two chars, and 50 Star Crystal Fragments to evolve to Version 1. And here is the Evolve. Now step one is done. Step two, evolving to the legendary form, Star Shatter Finale. To evolve your Star Shatter Heritage into Star Shatter Finale, you need to obtain a Star Core Crystal. How to get Star Core Crystal? The crystal can be obtained in the event by spending gold. Each draw costs 40 gold, and each 10 draws cost 400 gold. You are guaranteed to get the stone when the bar fills up to maximum, but it's random, so you might get the crystal earlier with a very small probability. Estimated cost. The estimated cost to get the star core crystal is about 25k to 35k gold at maximum. Using the star core crystal. Once you obtain the crystal, Use it in the Legendary Forge to evolve the Heritage version into Finale. You can also use a 2023 Legendary Ticket, which equals 10 draws, obtainable from Expert Missions or Web Recharge events. For the sake of time, we have skipped some openings. And here, as you can see on the screen, the Star Core Crystal has been dropped. In total, including the Star Factory, it cost us around 45k gold. This event is the third step to play and the big deal for sinking the gun. All you have to do now is go to the Forge and perform the Evolve to the final version. Step 3. Sinking Star Shatter to the Maximum. Now you've got the legendary weapon in your pocket. If you're an adventure player, this third step is for you. It's all about sinking the gun to the max, and it's a huge deal. Total materials needed. Stun 9 level 1 glow gemstones. 10 level 2 moonlight. 5 level 3 splendid jewels. 10 aptitude gem level 2 heroic. 12 level 1 specific star shatter mirrored gems. 12 level 2 specific star shatter chrono gems. 12 level 3 specific Star Shatter Unreal Gems, 160 gold weapon shards, 84,948 sync crystals. These materials might seem pricey, but timing your gold spending and recharging can save you a lot. Upcoming event, Gem Tycoon. Date, June 15th. Location, wonderful event list. Objective, get all the gems you need for your weapon by spending gold on anything. Discount. Limited 50% discount in July. Don't miss this, as the next event will return to normal prices, costing much more. Event requirements for daily recharge. 500 recharge. Each 3,000 gold spent grants one S level 1 mirrored gem star shatter. 1,000 recharge. Each 5,000 gold spent grants 1x. Level 2 chrono gem. 5,000 recharge. Each 10,000 gold spent grants 1x. Level 3, Unreal Gem. By recharging 5,000 for the event and spending 120k gold on anything, you can get 12 of each required gem. Combining gold spendings. Star Factory, 15k gold. Legendary Opening, 30k gold. Total, 45k gold, as you can see on my screen. Total gold for full Star Shatter Finale upgrade, 120k gold with 12k recharge. 
Recommendation. Use the Gem Tycoon event to enjoy the 50% discount on the first release. Note, this event resets each day at Naro, so what you spend and recharge today won't count tomorrow. Make sure you claim everything on time. Please don't contact us for missed claims, as it's hard for us to compensate. Okay, now, as for me, I see buying 1k Blessing is beneficial as I need it to fight in Lord mode, and then perhaps I spend the other gold on Super Jade getting Fate Perspective as it being very strong tactical. Okay, seems I need more. Let's spend more on Jade. Got it, out of gold. Just 20 more. Let's buy stamina. Now moving to the final part. Using everything you collected as resources to sink your new toy. While performing in the background, let me explain some stuff for you first. Quick weapon explanation. Star Shatter is the best single-hit DPS weapon in the current version. It will help you clear the new Rapid Mode, along with new adventure events and game modes like Dimensional Chasm or new Endless Arena difficulties. Star Shatter alone is a very strong weapon, but without support, it won't reach its limits. You should build a good backpack for it to make its Starfall damage even more broken. Star Shatter benefits from obtaining multiple legendaries, Legendary Linkage, so don't miss getting cheap legendary weapons like AK God or Endless Light from the Returned Essence Store. Star Shatter's Black Hole skill works on bosses, meaning you can stunlock bosses in one place for some time and deal massive damage with sword form. Star Shatter has two ultimate stones, and both of them can be obtained in Lord Fights. Each of them has a unique ability that will massively enhance your gameplay in various situations. Pay attention to Star Shatter's exclusive rune in events because they will provide a massive power spike to your damage, especially for the Star Slash ability. Besides runes, another important factor to consider is Siren. After you obtain the max evolution of Siren in your inventory, Star Shatter's gun sword form damage will be increased. As you will see, I sent the Siren version 2 to my account before even playing Star Shatter. That's how important damage boosters are. Don't miss out on it, as getting Siren 2 is not expensive, but can significantly boost your damage output. Thank you guys for listening. Sorry we had to switch accounts to perform the sync process due to a lack of basic materials. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on Discord. We really encourage you to ask before doing anything to avoid mistakes, as it's hard to undo event actions or restore any gold during consumption events. We look forward to seeing your own videos, guys. Show us how you're going to bully the rapid bosses. Happy shooting. All love from us, Wizard Games Management Team.